Go ahead. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Good morning. <laughs> Thank Good you, morning. I think, for scaring me to death. Thank you, I think. I may never forgive you. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Spending so much time with this idea and this creature, did you ever feel like it was devouring you? Uh, I did in some way, and but I get used to that. I mean that this creature, this project is uh, is kind of you know my baby, and I was you know working on this project for almost five years. So uh, I guess I get used to that. <laughs> yeah, Sputnik, perfect title because no one can forget it. Why? How did you choose that? And what does the Sputnik mean to you? Well, I would say it has a double meaning in some way. So first it refers to, you know, these historical events, uh, you know, the, the spotting that went into the space. And also, well, I would say the most important meaning it's that it means that it's a somebody, someone who follows you, who's always around you. And <laughs> it, it's a sort of, you know, this, element of dualism that we've been trying to insert into the movie and I really love that name and I think it worked out pretty well. Oh yeah, the name, the name is perfect because we, it, we all recognize it even if we don't know why we recognize it. Um, yeah. We are living through times where people wake up in the morning all over the world scared to death. Why do, why do you want to scare us some more? Why do we look for that? Why do we love horror movies? Uh, well, I think the, the question is simple. The, each horror movie speculates somehow in our fears. It's, you know, testing our boundaries and uh, such genre as a horror and also uh, science fiction and allows us to, you know, somehow to expand our story in terms of its ideas, in terms of its themes, and to tell the audience really important things and to deliver them uh, really important ideas. That, that's, that's the reason, I would say. I, I am not always a fan of horror movies. I, I get scared to death and I shut my eyes. And then I'm one of those annoying people who, you know, pokes the person next to me. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> but <laughs> but, uh, but I, I understand the, the attraction. How, uh, but the one thing I always get mad at is if the alien isn't, uh, believable if the if the creature doesn't work it, describe the creature and how you made it so-called come to life well that was another challenge uh, that we faced during the making this movie and uh, and you're absolutely right that it was uh, it was quite crucial for us to make him believable, to make him real. And uh, when we've been designing it, uh, uh, you know, we quickly realized that we live in the same universe with a different iconic movie monsters such as Xenomorph from Alien, Predator, etc., etc. And we started to treat our creature not as a visual element, but as a character. You know, that a character that has its goal, has its own arc that, uh, and we, we understood that this character should help us to, you know, fulfill the story needs to, to, to be connected with the characters and to help us to keep, you know, the, the story going. So that, that, that was kind of our, you know, um, blueprint, I would say. I love that. I, I'm happy that you agree, uh, that you acknowledge that uh, Aliens was an inspiration to you. Uh, are, are, in a way, you can't make a horror movie or even this kind of fantasy 
without having all those past movies in your mind. Are you right? Am I right? Well, absolutely. I mean, that um, all of the beautiful movies like Alien, The Thing, and all, all, all the other great examples of the genre, actually, um, they influenced myself and my crew to do that movie. And we've been... Uh, it's uh, those movies uh, were our main source of inspiration to do that movie. But from the start, we really tried to come up with a original idea, with a original concept, and uh, to tell a new story in a slightly common environment in a slightly, you know, common genre. Finding the right actress had to be the hard part because the part is wonderfully written. It, it, she's torn and you can see it. it you know, she, she's, she's afraid she's participating in something terrible, but she's afraid if she walks away, she'll create more harm. Am I right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that was, uh, that, that, that was, you know, great challenge to, f to find the, the correct actress and Aksana, that she did an amazing job. I mean, that uh, it took us, I don't remember, I mean, about five months to, to find uh, correct actress. And when I saw her screen test, when I met her, I just quickly realized there she is, our Tatiana, she's the thing. She, she's not acting, she's, you know, she's, tightly connected to this material. She understands this character. She's doing all these amazing, amazing things because, you know, I've been living with the script, with the just text for more than, more than a year. And then when I saw Xana's screen test, I said, wow, here she is. It's, it's always happening. It's already happening. I mean, yeah. and it was sort of magic. Even though this is supposed to be many years ago, you don't always depict uh, Russia, Russian officials in the most wonderful way. Were you scared of doing that? And, and what's been the reaction in Russia? Well, uh, we weren't scared. I mean, we, we, we didn't have, you know, such goal to, uh, you know, to tell something about the, uh, about the current, uh, political situation in Russia, etc. So, as I said, we, we've been trying to tell quite a universal story. Uh, so, yeah, that story deals with, a, you know, with a lot, of, a lot of terror, with a lot of things as, you know, fear, dread, and um, we have this, uh, you know, very uh, kind of powerful military colonel, but that was just... We, we've been trying to create each character as an archetype and, you know, to, we've been thinking about the story, the universal story that could take, take place anywhere, actually. So you're saying there are officials, that every place you'd go, there are officials who wouldn't know how to handle this situation or who would, you know, would make uh, decisions we think are terrible. Well, yeah, I think it's a part of human nature. Everybody makes mistakes. It doesn't depend who you are. Are you official, are you doctor, are you cosmonaut, or are you just soldier, or just human being? So we're all <laughs> humans. Everybody <laughs> do these mistakes. Have you been in the theater when people are watching this? Uh, have you, and, and, and what do people say to you after they see it? Are they shaken up? Are they, what do they say? Unfortunately, I haven't been in a theater because we came out yeah. right at the beginning of pandemic. And that was a pity because I mean that our movie was specifically designed for a big screen. And, but you know what, we, we just, as I said, we came out right at the beginning of pandemic. And, you know, we just, we kind of, uh, used the momentum because uh, everybody was staying home uh, and it was like a you know period of obscurity and uh, and a lot of really lots of people watched our movie and 
I think in that way we see, we will succeed it. <laughs> as you <laughs> we're just about at time, if you can wrap it up with one more question. Okay, as you're in the editing room, as you're uh, preparing and finishing the film, are you saying things like "This will get them," "This will make them scream," "This will make them shut their eyes"? What what kind of what kind of things let you know that you were you were getting where you wanted to go? I was following the initial idea and I was following the characters, following the actors, and I was trying to, in each scene, in each sequence, I was trying to build the maximum tension, the maximum emotional impact. And I wasn't thinking a lot about the, um, you know, all that horror stuff and etc. because uh, the horror, the sci-fi, it's just the environment, just the setting. What we've been trying to do is to tell um, universal human drama. So. Thank you so much. You, you did a great job. I hope you're doing something great next. And, and I love the way you explain things. Thanks.